Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Right, welcome to this battlefield terrain tutorial. I've got an abandoned jungle city for you here in this episode. Right, so as per usual with this series, I'll show you from start to finish how to set up this board. You're welcome to copy it exactly as you see it here on the table. Start with the foundation, add the terrain, the small finishing touches that you can do, and step by step you can follow along uh, and you can have setups of terrain like this for your own games of Warhammer 40,000. There's no reason why you can't get the same kind of setup across here. It's quite straightforward. I'll just sort of teach you at uh, each step of the way uh, to achieve the effects that you see uh, here in this table. So links will be in the video description below. Uh, your starting point will be your foundation here, your battle mat. Uh, so this one is 60 by 44 inches, the uh, correct size for 9th edition Warhammer 40k. Uh, it's called Highlands in War. Uh, so I can take the camera right in and show you the detail here. So it's multiple different shades and gradients of grass. Uh, there's some rough ground patches with grass as well. And then in some areas, there's like some rocky uh, gray outcrops there as well. So you can see them just coming through uh, on the battle mat just there. All you need is a flat surface. It's the mouse mat, mouse pad material. So rubber on one side and the printed design on top. Rolls out nice and flat, keep it rolled up nicely without any creases in it. Rolls out dead flat every time. And then nice and uh, soft, figure friendly. And then nice and quiet when you're rolling the dice. It's not a clattering sound uh, for rolling dice as well. You can get these in double-sided mats if you want really good value. So you get a different design on each side. Uh, you can uh, browse around on the gamemat.eu website uh, for that. But I'll put the link for this particular mat at this particular size. You can get it in different sizes. They do do 6x4. I think 6x3 is available. Smaller sizes, square sizes. So uh, whatever, side, whatever size is required. Uh, you can get this design, but uh, for our regular games of 9th edition, uh, we've gone for the 60 by 44. So that gives you your foundational colours, and for this abandoned city, which is sort of completely overgrown, so it's been abandoned perhaps for a couple of centuries, for a long, long, long time, uh, the undergrowth started to grow through all the ruins, uh, even high up on uh, the buildings as well. So I wanted grass to be running across here predominantly, so that's why I've gone for the Highlands in War set, uh, and then started to build up. Uh, the urban aspects to it as well but there's sort of jungle stuff going on here uh, as well so some of these things i've covered in previous videos i have done a walkthrough for these uh, but briefly uh, this jungle terrain here this comes as a piece like so uh, the foundation is just the bark that you can see the cork uh, you can get that from uh, aquatic stores or lizard and reptile type retailers where they'll use these inside uh, tanks for lizards and so on so you can get it from them I actually bought these larger pieces from eBay I found them on there uh, but that's where you'll find this sort of natural cork bark is what you're looking for uh, and that just is a nice already colored and toned and shaded voice There's zero painting uh, work required it comes broken up or you can break it up further if you so wish and then it's simply a case of then inserting the different types uh, of foliage here so if I pull out one of these to show you see what comes out so this foliage I've got from uh, a variety of places. Some of it's come from eBay. I got this when I was on holiday in Australia. That's come from Australia. That's come from a cheap pound shop in the UK. So too has this one. And so too has this one here. So I've just kept a lookout wherever I've been out and about. Uh, sometimes you'll find them in sort of cheapy hardware stores or sort of a pound shop. Uh, type stuff you go to the fake plant section and you'll find things in a whole variety like for example this stuff here this actually came as a ball and I just cut it up 
I left it on the, the sprue and just can simply then just spread that around the table and broke that piece up. So it's like a fake hanging basket type thing. And just the whole, the whole ball broke up into multiple pieces. That's all just come from the one. You pay about five pounds, you just get a load of stuff, different shades. And it's all done for you. It's quite durable. You know, the paint, there's no paint to come off on the whole thing. Uh, it's going to last like a nice long time. Uh, you can hit it, damage it, drop stuff on it. And it's that flexible plastic. So it's brilliant, durable stuff. It lasts uh, for a long, long time. And then for inserting it here, I've just used a matchstick. Sharpen the end and then stuck it in there and then drilled a hole. I just plant them like so and I've just done that for all of those um, really need to show you any more same kind of idea going on with that one drill a hole stick it in didn't take very long at all there's no modeling involved there's no painting involved these are all just the shades that they came from the shop so you can rapidly build yourself up some jungle I and mean, look at that effect there as I said you know it's all quite durable it's going to last, you can bash it, hit it, drop it, and it's going to last no problem. It's not too fragile, it's got a nice flexibility to it. So, highly recommend this stuff, massive fan of it. You've got these lovely lush colours here, and they just match in with the battle mat uh, just nicely. And I've mounted them on these pieces that aren't trying to fiddle around with ind individual bits, but I can just take these out of the box, put them in position, and then fill them in with extra stuff. Uh, and then some bits I have broken up like so, just for uh, dotting around, uh, but the whole setup doesn't take too long with them, just mounted up nicely. Uh, on these pieces that's the larger terrain pieces here we'll play these as like obscuring terrains the nice line of sight blocking terrain pieces we'll let infantry and so on can move through uh, but you've got yourself a nice feature on the board there's multiple ones of those dotted around the table so very very good fun i love jungle terrain so i'd, I'd highly recommend you do that and it's, it's easy i uh, once you're able to track down the parts there that we've talked about it's just those components just there Next up is another structure, major structural part, and that's the buildings. So this is a pre-painted terrain set. That's the chem zone set from gamemat.eu. It's actually two sets combined together to fill up this board. Uh, so you get uh, these lower buildings here. This is actually two halves. Uh, you get this larger structure here with the outlet. There's one from each set just there. These medium-sized ruins and the larger ruins that you can see here and here. Uh, come with that set so again I'll put a link for that in the video description below there's been a slight color adjustment on these they come just sort of standard gray I've used a bit of brown spray a bit of green spray and just a few dots on it just to change the color tone add on it just slightly but not too much of an adjustment I've added a little bit of rust effect to some of the metal work uh, that's pre-painted for you as well but again that didn't take very long at all easy adjustment to make uh, and that was to fit in with the chem zone at battle mat so this train matched in with the tone of that uh, but it seems that this train just matched on here quite nicely uh, as well but that's the set that you can use i've picked two as you can see this table is quite full up i reckon you could probably get away with one set and then build up your jungle terrain and then just go for the one mat the one set and then build your own jungle terrain that fill up the table quite nicely but uh, two sets uh, to give you that nice dense kind of urban effect so really you get those things in place and you've got your foundation and your structure complete and after that, it's just finishing touches. So, Lichen. Again, you get it from eBay, the hobby store, the railway model railway shop, uh, places like that. You choose the tone that you want. I'd recommend just get a big bag of it, and you can use it for a whole variety of terrain setups. Lichen's brilliant stuff. Uh, very impressed with that. Always used it uh, for terrain down through the years. Uh, then there's accessories here. Some Unitron armored containers. Uh, here I've chosen the green National Atari ones, there's two there, there's one over there and there's one just down here, just scatter those around the board and then some accessories, so you've got barrels, uh, ammunition, some barricades across here and then I've just sort of dropped the lichen on top, uh, put some of the bushes on top as well just to show that the, the foliage really has started to completely grow, overgrow the city, uh, this abandoned imperial outpost. Finally is the stones. So I've gone for grey this time. There is already some grey on the battle mat design itself. Uh, but I've gone for grey to match it with this. I've taken this grey tone from City Fight, brought it over to here. And that's to help blend the grey of the buildings uh, into uh, the, the grassland and jungle that you see here. So I've built it up more around the edges of the uh, terrain pieces. Not so much over here. I don't need it. Uh, that part's fine, the jungle bit. And then to sort of make semi sort of roads and things around here I've sort of scattered a lot more of it uh, in between more of the center of the table just to make it look a bit more 
uh, urban, but underneath that uh, is just the battle map design uh, that you can see just there. There, I've just had a little tidy up. <laughs> I've made little paths going through. Just, just push the stones to the side of it. It looks a bit more natural. So that's the design. Uh, there, it's sort of this completely abandoned city. It's been left for like decades and decades, and it's really starting to go overgrown. Always love this kind of uh, concept here. Sort of an I am legend type effect going on. I think sort of a good summary for it here. But you're just building up those layers. The key is your your foundation. It sorts out all of your colours for you. It gives you that nice soft flat level foundation to use. And then you need your line of sight blocking terrain, your larger terrain pieces. So it's a combination of pre-painted terrain, which is it's hardly any effort involved. Add, and then good fun just building up uh, your foliage that you can see more around the edges. So the focus is on the abandoned city in the middle and the foliage around the edge. But there's good height on this thing. You know, you can get a really good height on these uh, as they tower above the battlefield. But that's the effect here. Sort of I Am Legend type style uh, from the movie uh, here. Just a fully abandoned uh, urban uh, setup for your games of 40k. But if you get right down at the levels here, there's great places to to hide and tuck away and ambush. So great concept, I think. Good fun and for games of Warhammer 40,000. Keep a lookout for more in this series on the channel. And as per usual, and we will fade this out with some music in the background uh, and I'll pan around and show the different angles and aspects of this board. Uh, links in the video description below uh, for the different things I've mentioned. Uh, but feel free to copy this entirely, just follow one step after another uh, and you can achieve the same result for your own games of 40k as you take an army into an abandoned jungle city. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.